Matt, you know, when somebody purchases a house, you know, and they're, and they're done, they've closed down their home, there's five things that you suggest that they do. The first one is, um, is uh, updating your credit report um, with uh, making sure that all of your accounts have your new mailing address. The mm -hmm. credit report is based off of your social, date of birth, your full name, um, your property address. Um, those are all, all things that are into it. And if you only change some of the accounts and not all of the accounts, you'll have multiple addresses everywhere and you might not have a full picture. Um, the credit report is the, the th one of the three major ingredients. You know, you got income, credit, and assets. That's how you get pre-approved for a mortgage. Um, and so credit is one of, the, one of the biggest things. You want to make sure that you're constantly staying um, on top of that and making sure everything's uh, in, in order there. So the next thing that I have is switch over your licenses and car registration um, for a number of reasons. Um, most, most importantly is you want to make sure, you, you know, you say when you say you're the owner of that house, it's because, you know, it's on your license. You can't just say, I own this house. You know, I live there. Um, so that's important. Um, but it leads me to my third point is that um, once you switch over your license and your car registration, there's a, a number of municipalities in the state that have tax exemptions for property tax. Um, and the only way that you can really uh, get approved for those tax exemptions is by providing your license and your car registration and maybe a utility bill that shows that you're the owner of the property. And then that's what the town hall is going to require in order for you to uh, submit your request for the exemption. I'm talking like a 30, almost a 35, sometimes it's 38%. I know in Providence, you know, it's a little bit bigger of a tax exemption. That's hundreds of dollars a month depending on your property taxes yeah. that you could get a break um, in, in your monthly payment. Part of my third, pro third point is visit your town hall, understand where the property tax collector, tax collector's office is, how to get there, you know, in the event that you have a, uh, an issue. So that way you're not lost in the dark, you know, yeah. trying to figure this out. Get to know the town hall. It's and you pay for it through your property taxes. You know, you can really mitigate any like major issues becoming a bigger problem by going to the town hall and just, you know, figuring out what's going on. Um, so get to know the town hall is my, uh, is my, is my fourth one. And then, uh, my fifth one is change your door locks. You know, simple thing that we kind of, you know, joke that we send out, you know, send out there at the closing table, but it's really important. You never know previous owners or tenants of properties that have been at the property in the past that may have a key that might think that they still have availability to the unit. Um, and you get random people coming in, and especially in this day and age. So change the door locks. It's a simple, it's a joke, but it's not a joke. You know, but just just do it and, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Bonus, uh, I, I was going to mention this earlier, but, um, you know, uh, uh, making your first mortgage payment, um, depending on the mortgage company, I know movement mortgage, you know, is a uh, usually a faster um, uh, mortgage company will be able to get the paperwork out to people. But uh, making your first mortgage payment, there should be a document in your closing package that has the, um, the address, the amount, the due date, uh, everything that you need to be able to make that payment. I usually recommend people to call and make the payment over the phone the first time. So that the, the, you hear from the bank and get verification that they've accepted the payment, just so that way you can open up the line of communication. And then after the first payment, you can set up auto pay and your app, your your phone, the mobile app if you have, and and figure it out there. You're still a new account number. You're still new uh, to the bank as a customer, so you want to make sure that you have it all set up right and whatnot. And sometimes, you know, depending on your closing date, you might not have the ample amount of time to be able to figure that out. So I always say, call and make the first payment over the phone. Uh, that way you get it, and from there on, figure out how to do the auto pay and you know online account.